gonna show you this new SCUT controller and today we're gonna to program in a Cone 06 glaze firing. So if you've never fired a kiln before, not to worry, this thing will walk you right through it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit begin here. Then we're gonna hit the program button. Then we're gonna go for guided start. And it's gonna ask us, do you wanna do ceramics or glass? So we're gonna select the ceramics, which is already highlighted. So we're gonna hit the next key. Then it's gonna ask if you want a bisque, glaze, or preheat. Today we're just gonna do a glaze firing, so we're gonna go right to glaze. And then it's gonna ask you, do you wanna do 05, 06? And you see how the red, it's cone six high fire. So we don't wanna make that mistake and fire cone six. And it does give you a little warning, cone value recommended by the glaze manufacturer. Be sure not to mix up cone six with cone zero six. So we're gonna make sure we press the zero six, make sure that's highlighted, hit the next key. Uh, for low fire ceramics, we typically always fire at a medium speed and then hit next. And then congratulations, you hit next one more time. And all you have to do is hit the start key and the kiln will fire up all by itself. That simple, that easy. And you can also monitor from your smartphone. I wanna show you how to make an adjustment on this kiln. Let's assume that our kiln is not firing hot enough. It's slightly under firing, as you can see from the back witness cones. So in our last firing we did, we got this result here. So what we wanna do is we wanna get more in the middle result. So we're gonna put a five minute hold time to the programming of this kiln. So very simple to do, we're gonna hit the begin button here. We're gonna hit the program button. We're gonna hit cone fire button. And as you can see, it says cone six medium speed and there's zero hold time right now. We're gonna put a five minute hold time onto this kiln. So we hit five, enter. And what that's gonna do at the, once it reaches the top temperature, it's gonna hold the kiln for five minutes and then shut off and then you should get a perfect firing. All you have to do is hit start key, fire away. Once the kiln stops firing, open the kiln lid 24 hours later and you can witness the cones and you need to make an adjustment, you can go ahead and make an adjustment again, but chances are you've got a perfect firing.